Good morning, everyone. Again, um, <laughs> the first time I posted the prayer morning prayer time, there was no audio. I had the wrong microphone selected. So thank God for grace and forgiveness. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do it over again since the whole thing was um, was not recorded. So if you're here joining us at 819 this morning or any other time. Uh, God bless you. I'm glad that you're here. You can always post your prayer requests in the chat or you can go to our website if you'd like to keep it confidential and you can click on the prayer button at the top of the website. Uh, those prayer requests go straight to the pastors on staff um, and, um, and we would be happy to pray for you. Uh, I was sharing that, that that every Monday, Candace writes a, a devotional called Monday Moments, and they are so good. If you do not subscribe to that email or click on our Facebook page to read them, I really encourage you to do so. They're, they're a great way to start the week. And she shared this week about, um, about God's purpose for the world and backup plan for the world that really... That, that God has, um, God's purpose for the world is to reconcile all things in Christ. And uh, that got me thinking about our individual purposes as well. And as I was thinking about that, one of our church members posted uh, this on her Facebook page. Um, Kara Fleischer posted this. And uh I looked for the source credit, but I couldn't find it. Everywhere I looked, it said source unknown. So whoever out there wrote this, God bless you, and I give you credit. <laughs> but it says this, note to self, what is my purpose in life? I ask the void. What if I told you that you fulfilled it when you took an extra hour to talk to a kid about his life, said the voice. Or when you paid for that young couple in the restaurant or when you saved that dog in traffic, or when you tied your father's shoes for him. Your problem is that you equate your purpose with goal-based achievement. The universe isn't interested in your achievements, just your heart. And when you choose to act out of kindness, compassion, and love, you are already aligned to your true purpose. No need to look any further. I know that I have... Uh, spoken on this topic before, but it comes up so often in, um, in pastoral ministry, especially dealing with youth, but really of all ages, where we are asking God for guidance and direction. And I think that that's wonderful. I ask God all the time to help me in making decisions and to guide me in the, the path that would be most um, aligned with God's will. And, uh, and I hope to get responses from that. I hope to hear God speaking to me about, um, about the choices in my life. But it's important for us to not equate our purpose, uh, our, our core purpose, with a particular task or a particular choice. Although I think that our core purpose uh, flows into those. And that is that that our core purpose isn't one career or another necessarily, or, or one um, uh, city to live in or another, or even, even in our um, uh, marriage, like one marrying one person versus another. Although I'm sure that, that <laughs> there are things that go into that, right? With character and compatibility and all that kind of stuff. But but our, the real core of our purpose is to worship God. It is to become more Christ-like. It is to live lives of kindness, compassion, and love. To, to take up the, the, the life of Christ in us. Um, to live lives of self-sacrifice. And um, not, though, in order to check the box right? Not in order to cross off the task list or something like God doesn't have, um, or at least I don't know, but I don't think that God has a notebook with all the tasks that you're supposed to do, the purposes that he has laid out for you. And he's checking it off and going, okay, Mark, 
you washed the dishes today. Good job. Check. You fulfilled your purpose. Okay, let's see. Did you take out the garbage? Nope. Yeah, missed that one. Uh, so, or the same thing with our career paths, right? We go, I've gone through um, two careers at least in, in, um, in choosing engineering and then choosing to become a pastor. And I do believe that I'm following God's call in my life. But at the same time, I don't feel like my purpose in life is to be a pastor. It's to be Christ-like in whatever path that I may, may walk down. I wanted to share this scripture with you today. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Again, I don't, I don't interpret that as that God has a list of good works that he has prepared for you to do, that he's checking off, but rather that God created humanity with the foreknowledge and the intention that we would do good works, that we would care for creation, that we would care for one another. And so that is where I find my own purpose, and I hope that you um, are finding meaning in life as well. So as we go to our time of prayer, uh, I am particularly mindful today that as we have so many people that are switching careers, that are finding themselves unfulfilled uh, in their current jobs and occupations, um, that it's so important that we don't equate our purpose with our occupation, uh, but that we know that God values and loves us no matter what, no matter our ability or disability, no matter uh, if we are working a nonprofit or whether or not we are a lawyer. Although, you know, I think that whatever career path that we are doing, it should fall in line with, um, with living into the heart of Christ. So if you will pray with me today, Let's pray. God, we thank you so much for the way that you love us unconditionally and without merit. We thank you for the value that you place on each individual life and that nothing can separate us from your love, God. Help us to see the value that you have placed in each person. Help us to be people that, um, that value one another. And Lord, for those who are particularly struggling right now with discerning life paths, with choosing careers or choosing uh, moves or choosing um, schools and uh, all of those, some of those big decisions, choosing uh, life partners, Lord, we we pray for your wisdom and your discernment and your guidance, but help us each to never put our value and our worth in just the tasks or the things that we accomplish. Um, but Lord, help us rather to live into the calling that you have placed on each of us to live lives of love. Help us to become more compassionate and kind and self-giving in the way that Christ has shown us to be and to live. And Lord, we are thankful that you are reconciling all things in Christ, uh, each of us in our individual lives, but all of the world and humanity. And, um, and we thank you that, um, that nothing can thwart that, that you are victorious already. Um, help us to live in this Advent season into the expectant hope of, of uh, a future reconciled with you. Lord, be with us today. Help to guide our, our paths, our hearts, Lord, uh, into being more like you. We praise you and we give you thanks. It's in your holy name we pray. Amen. God bless each of you. Uh, it's okay if you make mistakes. <laughs> Pick up and, and start over, right? 
pick up and start over. God is with you. Uh, and you are so valued and so loved. Have a great rest of your week.